so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm gonna talk something interesting about stable diffusion first of all i want to tell you that there's a lot of thing that you need to explore in stable diffusion so i was just exploring the extension tab and as you can clearly see that i've already installed three of the extension in stable diffusion okay so what are these extension and where you can get this extension you can easily get on extension tab okay so let me tell you that i got three of these extension today and i was just experimenting with them so first of all you can see that i've already installed animator extension over here shift attention over here and stable diffusion web ui image browser over here so what are these so now you can clearly see that i've already got animator tab added over here and image browser tab added over here okay so first of all let me tell you what is animator animator is basically an animator so if you upload image over here it will basically animate your image there are a lot of things going on over here i'm not going deep into this and how does it works this is just that i want to show you that i got this extension from this extension tab okay so this is one that i installed first of all the next thing that i installed is image browser this is one of the best thing that i installed today let me tell you this is one of the best thing okay so basically what is this this is an image browser so whatever image you generate on text to image on image to image text to grades image to image grid extras or favorite image it will directly load on over here so that you don't need to go on to windows explorer and get images from there okay as you can see first of all we go on to text to image and other things like local directory on windows explorer to get images okay so this is basically one of the best thing that i found on extension tab one of the best thing about this is that you can directly get information of your images that you are generated okay as you can clearly see that this is the information that i got earlier what you need to do was you need to go on to png tab and you need to drop the images from here as you can clearly see let me show you so if you drop the image over here you will get the information about the image so in image browser you will directly get the image information that you have already used for generating this image okay so this is one of the best thing that i got in extension tab okay one of my favorite thing that i got okay the next thing that i installed from extension tab was shift attention as you can clearly see over here i installed shift attention so basically what is shift at attention the shift attention is basically a script that you can get over here basically what is shift attention it will convert your one image into another image just like if you want to convert a cat into a dog so let me quickly show you the example here are the things that i generated with shift attention okay as you can clearly see that over here it will generate your cat into a dog and it will give you in the form of a video okay so this is the video this is the end video of this okay let me quickly show you this is the result this is pretty quick this was my first try okay and let me show you the another example of this okay in this i was trying to convert strawberry into apple into orange okay so this is the video that i got as you can clearly see over here let me show you this is the image that i got it was converting from strawberry to apple uh, i don't know what why i got this was the first try that i was trying to generate so basically as you can see it was converting from strawberry to apple and into orange it gives you in the form of video format okay so you need not to worry about the next thing let me tell you one more example that i was trying i was trying to convert mushroom into dandelion as you can clearly see over here let me show you this is the mushroom and this is the video end result of this okay so this is the result okay let me show you okay this is mushroom converted into dandelion let me show you quickly once more okay so this is one of the best extension that i found today on extension tab okay let me quickly show you how to work on this okay so let me tell you how to do this so first of all let me tell you this is how you type prompt in order to get result of shift attention from apple to tomato okay let's convert from apple to tomato so in order to work just go on to script just click over here and just click on shift attention there are two options over here one is steps and one is frames per second what is steps steps is basically the image that you generate 10 steps means 10 image it will generate the more image the more detailed video you will get so let's go on to 40 steps okay first of all the next thing is frames per second what is 
frames per second let me explain you in detail what is this the more you will put the value the more frames it will skip for generating the next image let me quickly show you the example of this okay let me clearly show you the example so this is the first try that i got and let me show you this is the first try with 30 steps you can clearly see the first image of this and you clearly see the next image you can see there's a lot of difference going on with 30 steps so the more frames per second that you will add the more difference you will get with the next image that it will generate now let me quickly show you the next example of this so now let's go on to the next example as you can clearly see in this tie i just put on to like 10 frames per second so this is the result of trends frames per second as you can clearly see over here the next image is very close to first image you can clearly see over here okay see this so if you put on like 10 frames per second the output the final output will be very smooth let me show you so let me play this video you can clearly see the video it's very smooth okay it's going on very smooth let me once again show you the result so see the result it's very smooth so it's better to put on to like 10 frames per second so now let's try on 10 frames per second and 40 steps so it will generate 40 steps and let's see what result do we get okay so here we are guys with the result i didn't select this though there are no images generated on this ui so now let's quickly see the result first of all let's click on to the image and let me quickly show you how the results it generated see this is the result that we got you can clearly see the result okay it's so amazing it just converted from like apple to tomato you can clearly see in the end you will also get a video output of this result okay so when you can play you will directly get this video output you can see this video output it's pretty much amazing okay let me quickly show you once again so it converted from apple to like tomato let's try one more thing and let's try this time with show generated images in ui so it will show it over here okay so the next thing that i'm gonna try is something different from village farmhouse to like a bungalow let's give it a try and let's see what result do we get okay so here we are guys this is the result that we got as you can see we search for village farmhouse to a bungalow and this is the result that we got okay uh, let's quickly check on to like output okay so here we are let's quickly open the image and let's quickly check oh <laughs> this is fun <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay let's quickly check on to the video as well and let's see the result okay 50 images let's see uh, it's pretty much amazing but yes you can have fun with it okay so this is how you use shift attention in order to get results like this okay videos like this so this is one of the fun thing that i got on extension tab okay so there are so many extensions like this and so many things going on on stable diffusion so in order to install extension you need to go on to extension okay so after that you just go on to available tab okay just available tab you will see first of all there is no extension loaded on this page okay so you just need to click on to load from mine's already loaded as you can clearly see okay, over here if you click on load from it will load the extension okay as you can clearly see there are lots and lots and lots of extensions going on over here okay so i just need to go on to like best extension and we'll see which extension is for what okay the next thing i'm gonna talk about the extension is that there are two types of extension one is script okay and the next is like tab okay if you see the tab it will add a tab just like an animator tab just image browser tab okay you can clearly see that this three tab extension okay so let me quickly show you how to install this extension uh, let me quickly show you merge block weighted extension okay you just need to click on the install okay if you click on install it will install it okay it will take some time okay first of all have a patient it will take some time so after install just go on to like install and you can see over here it's already installed over here. sd web merge block weighted gui okay so after installing this you just need to click on apply and restart ui okay after you click on apply on restart ui it will automatically restart your ui okay just have a patient it will automatically restart your ui okay so now as you can see it's already automatically reloaded so now you can see there is a tab installed over here 
so this is how you install extension so i don't know how what is this first of all but uh, let me tell you this is how you install extension and how have fun with extension there are lots and lots of extensions going on okay if you click on over here there are lots of extension going on and you can clearly see that this extension was added on 23rd of january 2023 okay so you can get lots of extension uh, week by week you can clearly see on 17th of uh, january you got this extension okay so you can go and experiment on different different extension and can find best extension that you want okay i think there are lots of things that you need to explore on automatic 1111 and stable diffusion okay so that's it for today i hope you guys like this video and see you soon guys for today and i will be back with more and more videos tomorrow till then have a good day bye guys love you all guys take care and see you soon guys bye guys